The other day, I had a dream. I was walking down a dark tunnel and was faced by a door. I opened it and walked up the stairway, which led me to a magnificent hall. Portraits adorned the walls. Long tables stretched out in front of me. I sat down. And there, in front of me, was a plate full of chips. More chips than I'd ever seen before. It was beautiful. Jesus College is the third richest college in Cambridge, but people are coming out of CAF hungry. Why? I acted as Ron's campaign manager for his 2016 run on the JCSU as services officer. He had some really strong policies that seemed to resonate with the public, especially on chip, portion size, as well as ketchup. Um, but one day he phoned me up and he said to me, Luke, I'm no longer running as services officer. And I said, why? What's happened? And then he just said, I'm making a documentary. of the vegetables I and mean, when you get five carrots, five potatoes for 70p. I go to the calf counter, I get the meat, go over to the chips and, um, and what the woman provides me with is, is this. Wow. That's, that's 10 chips. I paid 70p for 10 chips. Calf, calf is a bit like a, you know, a broken pool table. Hear me out on this one. It's a broken pool table. You're with your friends, right? You're with your friends in calf you're, or you're playing pool. And the pool table, you know, you give and you give, you're potting all the balls, but the pool table's broken. It doesn't give you the balls back. It gives you nothing back. So you, what do you end up with? You end up with a table with no balls. You, you end up with an empty table. Calf will end up with empty tables. But at the same time, it doesn't give you the balls back. So what else does calf end up with? Full pockets. That was an interesting analogy, but I needed more explanation. To understand more about the consequences of bad portion sizes, I went to talk to Harrison McNeil, a world-renowned food nutritionist and philanthropist. Young people are like cars and the student at university during term time is like a car going at 90 miles per hour. Now, you can make a student go at 90 miles per hour, but it is vital that he has the right nutrition. Now, I am a nutritionist and I know all about these things and someone sent me anonymously, I must say, a picture of a portion of calf chips now, you don't need to be an expert like myself to tell you that this is not enough to keep a student going for a whole day. They're in the prime of their lives. They're thinking, they're imagining, they're coming up with creative thoughts at all times of the day. Now, I have here a, a graph which shows the, uh, the weight of the student on one side and the calorie intake that they need to have every day. Uh, I, I shan't bore you with the details and I'm sure you wouldn't understand. So, uh, but all you need to know is that it quite clearly shows that calf portions are falling well below the standard expected. Even for people who don't use calf regularly, there are still serious problems. Most importantly, every single term, we have to pay a hefty KFC. The kitchen fixed charge, also known as the KFC, is a fixed rate that every undergraduate has to pay every term. This poll tax is quite expensive. My friends and I don't use CAF regularly at all, 
And to think that I'm paying three pounds a day for a service I don't even use, yeah, it, it keeps me up at night. However, portion sizes and the KFC are not the only problems students have with calf. I met a student from Jesus College who, for personal reasons, wished to remain anonymous. I was at CAF and I got some chips and like most people, I can't have chips without ketchup. So naturally, I squirted some onto my plate. But who was serving me charged me 20p for that squirt. I incur this injustice day in, day out and I haven't been able to talk about this to my friends or family. But I've decided to speak out now so that one day all condiment lovers can go into CAF without fear of being punished for their way of life. It's cheaper for us to bring our own bottles in, you know. That 20 pence seems completely unnecessary. As access officer on the, on the JCSU, I, I think how the college presents itself to prospective students is incredibly important. If they see ketchup 20 pence, they think posh boys. I decided to investigate this further at the Department of Condiment Sciences at the University of Cambridge. I measured the weight of one squirt of ketchup to see whether the 20p tax was fair or not. So I've now squirted the ketchup onto the scales. Now, if it's really worth 20p, then it should be about 53 grams. So let's take a look. It's 18 grams. I'm gobsmacked. I'm kind of speechless, really. Um, that's, uh, that's a lot less than 53 grams that we've been promised. Something's not quite right. And I'm gonna find out why. In the end, I didn't manage to find out why. However, it is clear that the bad portion sizes and the ketchup tax are driving students away from CAF. I consider myself quite a social butterfly and there's no place better to spread my wings than in CAF. But these days I'm looking around and my friends are starting to take a stand. They're not coming anymore. And it's really sad because to be honest, CAF is what turned me from a caterpillar into a butterfly. And these days, because people aren't coming to CAF, everyone's just a caterpillar. I mean, as a fresher, I see like such great potential in CAF. It's like an amazing atmosphere, a great place to meet people. And it always feels like there's a tiny little harpoon that goes straight through my heart. Every time one of my friends say they don't want to come because the portion sizes are just too small. Patrick faces a dilemma. He says that he wants to boycott CAF but if he does, he will struggle to provide food for himself and for his college family because of one fatal flaw. Look, I actually try to cook. I, I try so much to get it right. Every, it's all, it always burns or something goes wrong. So look, calf is my only hope and it, it pains me to see it in this state because I know it can be better. This is Sophie one of the many vegetarians in Jesus College. My name is Sophie O'Reilly and I'm a first year vegetarian. And... <sighs> Sorry, it's just so tough being a vegetarian sometimes. I'm quite a big vegetarian. I read this every night before I go to bed. Our options are just so poor for vegetarians, like the other day. I had this for my main course. It's cheese on mushroom. How much do you pay for that? £2.50. And, um... I'm sorry. Understandably, it got a bit too much for Sophie. So many people are dissatisfied by CAF. Why is nothing being done about it? I sit on countless committee meetings where they say, right, we're going to solve this problem, but they're not actually going to resolve it. They're going to send it to another working group or to another committee. And by the end of it, nothing gets done. It comes up every single year. And every single year, uh, either we try and we fail, or now it's almost come to the point where we don't even try because we feel like we're going to fail anyway. Um, that's been going on for maybe up to a dozen years. A good portion of food and the right calorie intake is absolutely vital for, for working, 
for pushing oneself to the limit and for achieving success. I have a lot of love for Kath. I believe in it. I really do. I think students are starting to wake up now. They're starting to realise that there's a problem here and that, you know, I think they're starting to become optimistic. I do believe in Kath. I, I believe there is hope. I believe one day we'll have a functional Kath that all Jesuits can, can be a part of. So what now? To answer that question, I realised that there was one more person I really needed to meet. Uh, thank you so much for uh, agreeing to meet me. That's no problem, Ron. I'm always here if the people need me. So, what do you think the best solution... May I? Everyone knows this problem exists, but nothing ever happens. Do you know why that is? Uh, no. Because we're scattered. When lions attack a herd of buffaloes, do you know what the buffaloes do? They stick together. This is a stick. I can break it. This is a bunch of sticks. I can't break it. What does this tell us? It tells us that united, we are strong. And together, we can make a difference. After my meeting with Mr. Doku, something changed inside me. For the first time, I knew exactly what needed to be done. As I walked to CAF that evening, Amate's message played over and over again in my mind. If we keep shouting loud enough, the day will come when a portion of chips will be 20 or 30 chips, not 10. But until then, we need to stay strong. As a college, finally, we are starting to look at the truth. But the thing about truth is, you can run away from it or you can face it head on. When we flip through the history books, we can see that things change when people stand together. If we unite as a community, as a people, we will spread the fire of change and we will make a real difference in this hallowed hall we call. Still got scars on my back from your